Connell, frustrating afternoon, disappointing couple of days really, I guess, with everything that happened with the, the positive COVID tests as well. But how's the group feeling after that? Uh, I don't want to say deflated, Joe. You know I mean, we, we know we've, we haven't uh, done well today. We know we've let that one slip, especially taking the lead and stuff. And we're conceding goals at the minute, which personally I'm, you know, I'm not very happy with. You know, I've made a, an error there for the third and, you know, we're conceding too many dead ball situations and stuff like that, which I think we need to as a, as a group, not just defensively, I mean the, the whole team. We need to rectify that as soon as possible, really, and, and really start getting back to how we were at the back end of last season with, you know, clean sheets being hard to defeat, you know, and just generally doing the nasty side of the game, you know, right. How do you go about doing that? Is it something you can put right on the training ground or does it just come with time during um, the game? Is it concentration? Yeah. What is it? It's, there's only so much you can do on set plays, you know, in, in training. You know, we work on them an awful lot, do you know what I mean? Like, it's not something that we, you know, we push to the side. It's it's just having that mentality to, you know, when that ball comes in, you've got, you've got to be willing to do anything it takes to get it out, you know, keep hold of your man and, and really work hard to obviously, you know, keep the clean sheet and give the goalie a chance to come and get it, you know, with the lads who aren't marking to, to come and head it. So I think it's just a, a combination of mentality and obviously just getting it right on the day. What did the manager say to you after the game? You know, he's, he's disappointed with us, um, and rightly so. Um, we're disappointed with ourselves, you know, we, we've got a group in there of lads that, you know, we want to do really well and, and uh, you know, we, we want to push this club up and, and have a really good season. And I think, you know, we, we, we haven't done ourselves justice today. You know, we've had spells again in the game where, you know, we looked unplayable and then, you know, we're just letting ourselves down with, you know, the, the nitty gritty side of the game, the set plays and, you know, the third goal, I'm very disappointed with the, with the third goal, especially for myself, like, do you know what I mean? It, it's not something I can just, like, skew over. It's But we've just got to pick ourselves up now. We've got, we've got a fresh week next week so we can prepare well. It's a break from the league. Um, we've got, yeah, obviously, the FA Cup coming, so I think we needed a good seat, a good week, put this behind us, and then we go again on, on Saturday. How did you feel when you heard that some of your teammates had tested positive? I think it's an inevitability, you know, it's, it's everywhere at the minute, you know, the world's you know, it was chaotic out there at the minute, so uh, you know it was always going to happen. I think what the main important thing is is that we, uh, you know, we do things right around the club. Um, you know, the, the wearing the mask, you know, the keeping the social distance as much as you can. So just try and minimise the, uh, you know, the risk of it spreading. And I think the club's doing a, a great job with that. Does it worry you? Me personally, no. Um, you know, I, I had it before the playoffs at some point when we were in lockdown. Um, obviously, I understand there's other people that you know are high risk of it. So I think we need to do everything we can as a club to obviously minimise the spread and and stuff like that. But you know, it's not worrying me personally. You know, I'm more worried about if I get it. You know, having to miss ten days. You know, could be a couple of games, three games in that ten days, and that's the more worrying side for me, not not the health side. Like, do you worry about you know if you got it again mm -hmm. um, and and gave it to somebody who's perhaps not as resilient mm -hmm. as yourself when it comes to the immune system and maybe more yeah. vulnerable, somebody, you know, in your family? Yeah, definitely. You know, obviously, my mum's got asthma, you know, uh, so she's an asthmatic, which is something I've got to be careful of. But, uh, you know, I think as, the, as a whole, the club are doing it really right. You know what I mean? We're taking all the precautions as we can possible to obviously minimise the risk of spread, obviously going home and stuff. And, you know, we are having to stay away from a few family members and stuff like this, but it's just the way it is at the minute. You know what I mean? And we've got to you know, abide by these rules and try and keep the club as safe as we can. Is that one of the things you're having to do then? You have to stay away from your man? Yeah, you know, obviously we, we got tested Friday, you know, uh, you know, a lot came back negative, we had a few positives, but you've just got to do it right, you know, it's, it's you know, hopefully in the next couple of months it'll calm down again and we can get back to a bit of normality once the, the cold weather's out of the way, but we're just concentrating on trying to keep it down in the squad because, you know, we don't want what happened today to try, you know, happen again, you know, we've lost four lads there today, you know, four or five lads and, you know, it's it's it just limits the options for the weekend, do you know what I mean? We've got a very strong squad and I thought the team we had out today was more than capable of going on to win that match. But I think it just gives, you know, when you've got the full fit squad there, you've got so many options to come off the bench, change your formations and stuff. And I think we just lacked that today because of the personnel, obviously, that without. I've seen other teams postpone games due to mm. positive tests yeah. in the group in hindsight. Could that game have been postponed today or, or do you think that that team's good enough no matter what? No, no, I, f I think the squad's more than good enough, you know. Uh, the gaff has shown full faith in us in, uh, in the game today, you know, to keep it on and stuff. And, you know, me personally, I feel like, you know, we've let him down a little bit. But uh, there's no way we was going to postpone the game. You know, the squad's strong from back to front. You know, we've got players in all sorts of positions, you know, two at full back, four at centre back, low, you know, midfielders, forwards that can come in. So I think it would have been an injustice to the lads that have stepped in if the game had been postponed.